Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're diving into ethical hacking with Python, and more specifically, we're actually going to create a keylogger detection tool using Python. So, if you're interested in cybersecurity or ethical hacking, uh, this project a project is a great way to get started, and it's super beginner friendly. Uh, I'm going to walk you guys through every single step um, from writing the code to running the script on your system. So um, we're going to be building a simple Python script that scans your computer for processes that could be acting like keyloggers. And I taught you guys how to make a keylogger in my last video. Um, so a keylogger is a malicious program that records every keystroke you make, potentially allowing hackers to steal your personal information. So by the end of this tutorial, uh, you'll have a basic Python tool that can detect keyloggers and help protect your system. Uh, so. Before we get started, I just want to say if you guys enjoy my content and you guys want more, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe uh, and just share my channel, you know, and share my videos if you find any of them interesting. Um, so let's get started. So before before we jump into coding, let's first cover what Keylogger actually is, if you didn't already watch my last video or one of my older videos. Uh, so a Keylogger is a type of spyware that tracks every key you press on your keyboard, and this data can be sent to a hacker giving them access to sensitive information like your passwords, bank details, or personal messages. So, um, basically, an example, uh, I'll put it on screen. Press a few keys. So, I'm just pressing a few keys on my screen and I'm just pressing random stuff. Okay? And you, um, and then you can use any text editor or, or Visual Studio Code to open up the log file and view the recorded keystrokes. So, look at all of these right here. Uh, you could technically be typing in your password for your email account Without knowing it, a keylogger could be recording every letter you type and sending it to a hacker in the background. That's why detecting and removing keyloggers is so important. In this video, we're not creating a keylogger, but we're building a tool to detect keyloggers to protect you guys. So remember, this is all about ethical hacking, which means using your skills to protect systems, not harm them, or proof of concept. So first, we need to set up our Python environment. So uh, you need to install that. That will be the first link in the description. Just go to python.org and go to the download the latest version. That will also be the first link in the description. Next, you're going to also need a code editor. So over here on my screen, I actually have something called Visual Studio Code. That's the second link in the description. This is one I prefer to use. Some people use other things just for Python, like I believe it's called PyCharm. I used to use that, but I just find um, Visual Studio Code easier because I use it with all my programming languages, or most of them. Um, so next, after we create our directory, we're just going to create a main.py in it. And then we're going to open up the terminal with control tilde. And then we're just going to install a Python module called PSUTIL, which allows us to interact with system processes. And this module is what we'll use to scan for suspicious processes that could be acting as keyloggers. So we're going to run pip install PSUTIL. So before we do this, just make sure when you downloaded Python, you add it to path and also restart your computer after it's fully installed just to make sure that everything runs smoothly. So we're going to just click enter. Um, there we go. It's installed. Um, I might have had this installed before already. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but yeah. And also new wreaths of pip is available. So we could just upgrade the pip. So I'll just do that. Alright, there we go. It was pretty quick. Uh, but it's always good to have your stuff updated to the latest version. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write a script that scans for suspicious processes running on your system. So we're going to be using the PS, uh, P -Y, uh, PSUTIL library to list all active processes and look for common keylogger names. So first we're going to do import the um, thing that we just installed, PSUTIL. And then we're going to create a function. So we're going to do define create a function python and then detect keylogger detect keylogger open close parentheses colon semicolon uh, colon and then so what we need to do is we need to first list um uh create the list of suspicious 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 process names uh that could belong to keyloggers that could belong to keyloggers all right um, and then we're just going to call the variable suspicious processes. So suspicious and then underscore processes. All right. Is equal to open close brackets, square brackets, and then keylogger, and then uh, log keys, and x input. 
Okay. Um, and then we're going to uh, iterate through running processes. So let's just like it's good to keep comments through your code so that you understand what each part does. So running processes. Oops. Running processes. All right. Uh, and then we're going to do for uh, proc in PSUTIL dot process iter. Um, and then in here, open close parentheses, open close square brackets, and then here PID, comma space name. All right. And then in here, we're just going to do try. And then now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to actually check if process name matches any of the suspicious suspicious names um, and then we're gonna just create the available process name process name is equal to proc dot info open close square brackets name dot lower boom all right uh, then we're gonna do if any and then here we're just gonna pass in um, suspicious name uh, in process name for suspicious name in suspicious processes uh, and then colon and then we're gonna print F and then suspicious uh, sorry oops Suspicious process detected. Uh, process detected, and then we'll um, just pass in the information. Sorry, detected. And then we'll just pass in all the information. So we use curly brackets for that, and then do process name. Uh, and then we're gonna do open close uh, parentheses PID, and then that would be proc info. Oops curly brackets, proc info, proc dot info, and then in here we need PID, um, and then there we go, uh, and then we could just say this is like um, an important thing, so we'll put like explanation mark over there, so it's like something important, right, uh, and then over here we're going to do accept, uh, like that kind of accept, not accept, that's like accepting a gift. Uh, and then PSUTIL dot no such process, comma PS, uh, PSUTIL dot access denied, access denied, comma PSUTIL dot zombie process. All right. And then pass. Okie dokie. So then the last part, uh, this is just, the next part we need to do is just to run it. So we're going to go over here, and then all this is going to do is this is going to run the detector. Run the detector. Okay. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore, um, then. So basically this is just an if then statement. Uh, sorry for not explaining. Uh, this is an if then statement. So if, and then this is like the then. And then this is saying if name this variable over here, really, the string, um, is equal to. Double equals means it's asking if it's equal to. And then if that's true, this is kind of like logic. So if you guys learned logic in school or something like that, um, this is kind of like logic. So if this part of the statement is true, it will then move on here. If not, um, the statement, if the statement is false or if another variable is true, it will move on to that. Uh, so and then in here, we're just going to print running keylogger detection detection dot 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 and then we'll just put like a little plus over there All right, just say it's a good thing um, and then detect keylogger now that's to run the uh, function that we created up there right, this one right here um, let's just say this is the main function and then uh, then we're just going to do print after it figures out if there's any or not. It's going to say scan complete. Okay. There we go. 
Alrighty. Um, so let's just, let's just give you guys a breakdown of what the code does. So first we import the PSU TIL module to list running processes. Then we define a list of suspicious process names. We could make this, um, you know, names, name list longer, but this is just a very simple one. And then this script goes through each running process on your system, checks whether its name matches any of the suspicious names up here. Uh, maybe we should say like, or no, we already said that, all right. Uh, and then if it finds something, we'll then print out the process name right over here. Process name and the PID, process ID. Um, and then finally, at the bottom over here, this is just running this function up here. Okay. Um, so now we're going to test it out. Run this. So we're going to do open the terminal again and do control tilde. I'll just do this by CLS or clear depending on the computer you have. Um, and then Python. And then keylogger, or we have this main, called main.py, right? So let's hit enter. And there we go. It did not find any suspicious processes. Um, but if it did, it would do exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, print that information. You could make this word list longer. This is a very basic one. You could work on that yourself if you want. Um, and it's, as you can see in this case, it did not find anything suspicious, which is a good sign because my that means my system is indeed clean. But if it had detected something like a keylogger running, it would let us know. So the script uh, works well, um, but there are a few ways you can improve it. For example, you can, you know, like I said, add on to this keylogger name list. You can also have the script run in the background, um, always checking processes and have like a pop up or something. And also log any results in like a, f a separate file. You know, all these improvements would actually make it more robust and useful as a long term detection tool. So there you have it guys, a simple but effective Python script to key detect keyloggers on your system. This is a great project for anyone learning ethical hacking and cybersecurity. Remember the key to ethical hacking that it's all about protection, not causing harm. Use this script responsibly and make sure to always have permission if you're testing on someone else's system. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more ethical hacking and Python tutorials. Share this with your friends, whoever you know that might be interested in this. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more projects like this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave that in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to respond. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.